Okay. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you very much. Right, they're just coming. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Welcome to March. Oh, you think it's going to get any better? Well, I don't know. Well, no, just joking aside. Don't. I don't really want to worry. Um, yeah. Checked in with energy, and I'm really feeling that there's going to be. Mm, this, I don't mean it to scare people or put people off, just a little bit of a bumpy ride energetically. Very much so about, thank you, very much so about letting go, tying up loose ends, I just heard about letting go, tying up loose ends. Very important as we're moving through this part of March. Uh, a lot of chaos going on. Oh dear. Oh, thank you. A lot of chaos going on. I think they're, they're making me aware of the planets. Um, but not only just that, how they're going to come in and uh, sideswipe, they just said, some people, individuals. I mean, look, the whole world's made up of billions and trillions of people. Uh, so it's going to be slightly different for everyone to some degree. But what I'm hearing very clearly is very much so, as we move into March, this week, especially this beginning of uh, March now, and it's March the first day, that you're going to have changes in the energy. And it's very much about, ah, oh, thank you, letting go, cutting ties, what no longer serves your purpose. Very much so. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, let me explain. Okay, so I mean, this, yeah, okay, let me explain. This is what they, this is what they told me. So I've used this as an example before. Um, okay, I can do that as well. Okay, so I've used this as an example before. Many sides to each of our personalities, okay? So just like this crystal pyramid, many, many sides. And there's many, many sides to you. There's many, many sides to your soul. And what happens is each time that we come back, well, we do, we recycle. Every time that we come back, our soul signs up for a new, uh, what did I say? God, it's, I, was gonna say, I just heard lease. I didn't think they were going to say that. I'd say like a contract in the sense of when we come here, we decide that there is new things or um, issues or problems or areas of our life that we want to sort out. So we're always growing, always expanding, going through school to school to school, as in school of life. Um, different stages of your journey, relationships, work, whatever it is. Um, I, I like the idea of lease though. That make that that that's new. I haven't just oh, they just told me that. So it's like leasing this body out, the physical body. And you lease it for the time that you're here. I'm gonna go with that. And while you're here, it's about then coming across those individuals in your life. I understand exactly what they mean. Those individuals in your life and situations that help you to grow okay and this is very much so very much so this year we know of all the changes that's happening but very much so this week the beginning of march is looking at how to let go of things or looking at contract oh thank you uh, contractual agreements and that's really contractual agreements and contracts with individuals in your life and jobs and home life okay the, okay thank you the very they're working very much with okay the interior part of you as in your lower base chakras oh and heart and going, okay thank you but they're very much looking at the roots the foundation of you as an individual and also they come up to the heart as well so they're okay thank you i've got you okay so i'll explain so very much about the foundations of your life of how it has been we have to work with what's been going on over the last year for us we also have to look about the changes it's brought about you know pandemic globally i'm looking at the map now on the wall of what's happening around the whole world how it's changed everything for lots and lots of people that there is no one on the planet that would have escaped what's happened over the last year but what they're showing me is, as I said this before, it's all about us uh, signing up to be here at this particular time. All our souls decided to come here at this particular time to have this journey and to meet the individuals. And that means very much so the individuals that you meet within groups, uh, the individuals you meet through friends and training. OK, training, I understand what they mean. And individuals that you mean when, uh, when you meet through studying or training or whatever you do. OK, thank you. OK. Now, I've said this before, but they, they're really, really insisting that I mention this. Okay, thank you. There's going to be many that are moving out of uh, old relationships, friendships, partnerships, and moving forward. Now, the reason for this is because this big shift that's happened on the planet, and very much so now, literally, manifestation and March thinking about, I want something, and it happening even faster than it ever happened before. 
So really focusing on where you're directing your own energy within you internally at this moment, because that is like a magnet that you're sending out and what you're going to be attracting. So it's very important at the moment to whatever you're saying goodbye to, whatever you're releasing, letting go of, the universe needs space so that you let go of that and so that you open it up and so that then you can have that space. It doesn't like an empty space. Universe, it's the ebb and flow like the seashore and that's what they're showing me. The reason they're giving me all this, and I've mentioned it individually different times, but it seems very important that this now being in March, moving forward, it's moving forward into the rest of this year and completing stuff, but very much at the moment about not necessarily starting anything brand new, but it's really about letting go, really about letting go and looking at what relationships, friendships, what's been happening for you, what they've taught you and knowing when it's time to let go and know when it's time to move on. This is also through work, this is also through, oh, they're talking about leases of homes, they're talking about moving forward into new homes. Now, what they're saying to me, make me very aware is that, okay, thank you. When it feels uncomfortable for the individual, the human um, that is going through things, that frustration or feeling uncomfortable as in your uh, body, you as an individual vessel, the human being, when it feels uncomfortable in a situation, okay, the human body gives you all the feelings and the emotions, so that's your gauge, and your mind, your brain is holding on to all those, um, okay, the outdating programming that you have going on and all the triggers that it spires off. But your body is about, it's about your soul being able to let go of all that and to move forward. Let me say that again. So your body, your humanness is your gauge so that when you feel uncomfortable with something, when you feel uncomfortable, it's about then you moving forward. And many of you now, thank you, are saying to me, what they're saying to me is many of you now, the souls on the planet at this time, wanting to move forward into new things, new projects, new life, new work, um, new life, new work, new, new um, relationships. You're, you're wanting to move forward into new projects, new ideas. Now, if you don't do that, <laughs> I just said this, if you do not uh, change, if you do not, or you know that you, um, you know that you need to, uh, move forward but you hold yourself back because of the insecurities the fears the old programming from your old self if you hold yourself back the human part of you with uh, can create can cause depression okay the frustration the internal unhappiness okay thank you they're just saying to me and there is a number of people that are doing at this moment on the planet globally they're having that of indecisiveness you know if something's they think that's too hard to move forward they're saying okay i'll wait i'll do it later and that's what i'm hearing from my spiritual team is don't put it off because when you've been brought to a stage of either a new job or a new home life or a new relationship or uh, romantic partners or whatever it is when you've been brought to a stage in your life it means you need to move forward now I've said this before and they're saying that bring up very very closely the breadcrumbs are there the guidance is there your higher self thank you your higher self you're there in the future that's been helping you to move along so i'll explain so you are here as an individual now in this dimension in this time and space but there is also okay thank you they just said uh quantum fields bio fields energy fields that there's part of you that's in the future your higher self that's trying to help guide you so if you as an individual here now once you start awakening once you start being aware of there is other energy fields and that there is you tune in more to that that sort of the awakening of yourself opening up more you'll be st oh thank you you'll be pulled more to where you need to be so it will create this frustration inside of you okay meaning what happens is where you are in yourself once you start awakening once you start realizing there is 
more to life or your journey is different it's changing and you need to be somewhere else you'll get those images of where you need to be your so for instance okay so if it's a new home life you'll get that feeling of maybe that country you need to be in or that area of that country that you live in you'll start getting that more of a pull towards it pulling you towards where you need to go like that magnetic self of you and that's your High conscious there is, is there waiting for you to catch up with it. But the human part of you is like, oh, I'm fearful, I'm scared, I don't even need to do it. And the mind overthinks the being that you are, the humanness keeps you stuck. But your soul and your high consciousness is already where it feels that you need to be, but you just need to match up with it. When you don't go to where you feel like those, that intuition, that sixth sense, that you know, that, that feeling that you get in your body, when you don't match up, when you don't move, when you don't go to where you think you want to go, or you want to go, but you're too scared because of fear, because the old programming that's within you, it creates a frustration, depression, uh, unsatisfied with love, and you just go around in circles, disappointed with your life. Okay, thank you. I just heard there is a number of people that, who who want to move, who want to make changes, who've been holding on, thinking I want the right time for that. And this is within relationships, this is within jobs, this is a whole change which has been going on, I think. You. And it makes sense, especially as we've had this pandemic, it's been that changing system within many, many people right now. Okay, thank you. I also have to bring up, oh God, they're really, they're so talking so fast. Okay, thank you, got it, okay. They also said there will be those that you meet in your life, those that you meet in life are romantic or friendships, partnerships, through work, whatever it is that you signed up to be with. And many of you are aware of me if you know this, but you've signed up to um, bump into them in this life, to be next to them, to, to learn a lesson from them to help nudge you in the right direction. And sometimes you get stuck. <laughs> I know that very well. Sometimes you get stuck. And when you get stuck in that situation, it's like that internal frustration. It's like your soul saying, come on, you need to go. And then you get pushed. Okay. Okay. But they have been brought up, you know, whether it's past relationships or friendships, they have been brought up uh, and to connect with you in this lifetime to sort of push you, to let go, to learn from that it no longer serves you and for you to move on. And this is through work as well. There's work, there's relationships, there's friendships, there's everything. Now they said it's different with families and your family soul pods is slightly different. Yes, they're, you're born into those families to learn lessons from, and it's not as if you can totally escape them, but they, they are those that teach you other lessons. Okay, thank you, they've gone off into one as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, oh, thank you. But they're saying very clearly over this next this is like the month splits into two so the next week two weeks there's this feeling of many of you and i've heard it from some clients i'll explain many of you might feel this uh feeling a bit drained feeling a bit tired feeling a bit frustrated feeling a bit oh nothing's going right um but it's to work with it because it's about what's it teaching you what's it showing you and then letting go Okay, I have to show something. So I'm speaking so fast, but I'm so excited because this information is coming through. Okay, so, um, okay. Yesterday I was working and I had a number of clients and I did a past life with one of my clients and where we did several little steps on that. And what we found was that, because uh, it seems to be important what they're saying. Okay, thank you. Okay, it makes so much sense. Um, so what happened was, she has been in a number of relationships that she uh, feels that her moving forward, she's she wants to meet the right person. But when I looked into her energy stream, there was part of her that was stuck. So we started going back through the relationships. Okay, so, okay, here's my little Russian doll again. So there was part of her, and we were looking at how she felt in one relationship. So that was part of her, how she felt in one relationship. And about, if you think of this as the layers of her in that relationship, and she was holding on to something within that relationship. She hadn't quite let it go yet. So then we went back in a past life, keep going back on a link, linking all the way back 
to the next relationship she had. And so we do this as another relationship. And again, in that past relationship, one of her past relationships, she was holding on to something within that relationship, okay? But she still hadn't learned, so we need to go back further. But it worked out there was about three or four relationships, and each of those relationships was trying to teach her something of herself. And there were layers of her that she hadn't quite worked out yet. But when we went all the way, way, way back, we went through also her father and her relationship she had as a child. When we went all the way back, we looked at how through trauma and experiences in each of those lifetimes had carried forward into this her present self now. And we had to break that link in for her to move forward into the present self, okay? Okay, I'll explain. So as we went back for all the relationships in this lifetime, they were connected to many past lifetimes. So main four, they were connected to different lifetimes, four different lifetimes. And in each of those lifetimes, there were lessons that she needed to learn and that she had drawn up as a soul, soul contract, a soul contract. I like leasing as well. That's a good idea, like leasing a house or a home, whatever. But in each of those relationships, in a way, she should have been able to, and I hate saying should, should have really been able to move forward because the same issue was coming through in every single relationship, in every past life, okay? And it was the same story running all the way along the link, that to every relationship she had in this lifetime, they were connected back to past lives, and it was the same, same issue. So yesterday, doing that with her. Now, the reason I mention that is because about they are saying to me now about your soul contracts, about letting go. And what she hasn't done is looked at those soul contracts with those individuals, at least four in this lifetime. It's about looking at what they've been showing her and teaching her, but she's been holding on to the trauma within herself and hasn't moved through it. Okay. Now, they just bring into mind the other client I had yesterday that in this lifetime, my client I saw yesterday, another one, was literally, there was her younger self, her younger part of herself, there was a family issue and her dad left when she was very young and she had held on to that trauma in her body. Now when she sat in front of me yesterday, this woman, I know she must be in her 40s, was still holding on to the pain of that relationship of how he had passed over and she didn't get to speak to him. And there were loads of questions that she needed to ask him. So yesterday he came forward in spirit, he sat with me and he answered every single question for her. Now, she sat in front of me and because of she was working with that trauma, because I was working with her yesterday as a psychic medium, a soul therapist, it was a combination of skills, that she felt better. And I'm hoping that part of herself that might be in a layer of her soul that had been affected would now be able to move forward. The reason I keep bringing that up today and the whole information is literally because they're saying it's time to release, time to let go of what no longer serves you. Whether that's a job, a home, if you want to move somewhere, this is the time to look at doing it later on, more towards the other part of the month. And if there's relationships, work, whatever it is, look at what no longer serves you and look at why you possibly think that is. And what I'm hearing is most likely you have grown, you have changed, and that's why it needs changing now. You need to step forward into those new shoes. They just showed me Wizard of Oz Dorothy shoes. Um, so you need to step forward into those new shoes. Not at this moment, because at this time, these two weeks within March, it just feels that it's about identifying what needs changing or what no longer serves you. It's very much about that self-care at this moment too. And it's about how you can take care of you as an individual person, because it's about conserving your energy to some degree as you move forward into what's to come.